Hi everyone, today we are back with the Eureka Elevate cordless vacuum. Today we're going to be putting this machine through a whole bunch of tests and doing a review on it. We're going to start by cleaning this medium pile carpet coated in cat litter. We're going to clean half of it on low power and half of it on high power and see if there's any major difference between high and low power. The brush roll will be on high. So first we're going to start with this side, taking a single pass. On low suction power. Now we're going to test one forward and backwards pass on high power. But as you can see, I'm going to zoom in here, on the low pass, there's a spec, spec there and a spec there, we go to the one that I did on high, there's still a spec here and there. So overall, from what I've seen, there really isn't that big of a difference and you shouldn't waste the battery life. To, whoops. You shouldn't waste the battery life to go to high power. Just stick with low, It'll be fine. Speaking of that, let's finish this rug. So as you can see, the Elevate did a pretty good job at cleaning this rug. There's one spot right here I should probably clean. There we go. But overall, this machine did a heck of a job of cleaning and I will be right back because we are going to move the camera and I'm gonna do another test and see how well it performs on some different debris. So now we're gonna test the Elevate on three different messes. We have some medium, size debris, medium to large, right here in the form of some pumpkin seeds and raisins. We have some soup crackers, and then of course we have some pet hair. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna again be using low power, but with the brush roll on high. As you can see in one forwards pass, that is a completely clean. So let's see how well it does. We did snow plow some. If you can see right here, that's what it left right there. Left four of them. If you really force it to pick them up like this, but it doesn't really like this big debris unless you force it to clean it up, like that. Now let's test the pet hair. It cleaned up the pet hair, but I'm suspecting there's a lot in the brush roll because I can see it. So give me just a second to check. Yeah, this doesn't have a tangle-free brush roll, so you're gonna be encountering this. But overall, did a pretty good job. 
So next, let's try out some hard floor cleaning and see how well it works at that. Okay, so now we have the hard floor cleaning test set up. Let's see how well it works. We have sugar, cat litter, pumpkin seeds, and then the soup crackers again. So let's see how well it works on sugar. We're gonna turn the brush roll to low. One forwards pass. It left a little bit in the crack right there. So it is, nope, it got it after a couple passes. Not perfect. Let's see how well it works. See a superb job with the kitty litter. Only a few pieces right there. Again, a superb job on those particles. Only a couple left. Now, will it be able to clean these extra large? It's getting them, it's just not easily getting them. So I'm gonna call that a no. Let's try high, whoops, high suction. No, you're gonna have to clean those up by hand or by using the tube like this. Yeah, that's not, it's not gonna clean those particles up. That's just too big. Those are some pretty big pieces though, but it got everything else and I'm impressed with that. So I think there's only a few more tests to do and I'll be right back. The next test is can it clean a very thick rug like this one right here? So let's see how well it does. Yes, it's cleaning it. It's definitely cleaning it. Let's see about... Now high suction is just too powerful. But low power? No issues at all. Look at this. It easily cleans the rug. All right. So that's a yes, it can clean that rug. So that's good. So we have a couple more tests. Next is gonna be stair cleaning. All right, so the best way to clean stairs, in my opinion, is this way. You just stand and you clean like this. Doing it this way seems to be better since getting it on that angle seems to kind of jam the brush hole to the carpet too hard. So as you can see, it cleaned the stairs very easily. So the tools included with the Eureka Elevate are pretty normal nowadays. We have a crevice tool, pretty long. Not much I can do with that, but the dusting brush I will test since it does have pretty soft brushes. I'm gonna see how on low power, how well it picks up dust off this table. So you know, the airfall easily deals with it. Let's try. There's definitely an increase in airflow on high power, but it's not really worth it to me. All right. Oh. All right, 
So this machine did a heck of a job. So there's a few more things I'm gonna show you and then we're gonna wrap this up, so stay tuned. So the final things is we're gonna check. So the final part is we're gonna check the filters and the brush roll. So let's unclick the bin and we have two, fil two main filters in this machine. You can see we have this filter which has some sugar around it. And then we have this foam filter, which has basically nothing on it. It's a little bit of dust. I see the top of the cyclone has some fine dust on it, but really not that much. Not after how much cleaning we did with this thing. But overall, the vacuum has done a heck of a job of cleaning. Now let's check the post motor filter, which is right in here. I'm not expecting anything on here either, but we'll see anyways. As you can see, the filter looks clean. There's no fine dust right here. This is a sealed system according to Eureka, so that's good. The filter fits nice and tight. get this on here correctly and just like that all right so this is a quite impressive cordless vacuum I'm gonna check the brush roll real quick so there's some hair caught in the brush roll not sure where that's from but we'll find out I'm pretty sure it's from this rug actually but anyways I hope you enjoyed this I hope you thought this was a cool video and Please let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.